points off turnovers, almost all of our points off the turnovers were in the first half. Uh, second half, we didn't scramble nearly as much. We went to the free throw line and missed some, and that's when we're better at it, when we make the second shot on the free throw and get into our scramble. But uh, uh, Bryce was good offensively, uh, did some good things for us. You got six guys in double figures, and you got, uh, I think Kerr said, four guys setting a career high in assists. So 30 assists on 36 baskets, pretty good basketball, and you like that part. Uh, no question, I didn't like the fact they shot 56% in the second half, but uh, uh, we were able to uh, do okay. It got down to 12 or 13 or 14 or something like that, one of the coaches said, and then we made some shots, and it was fun watching us offensively after we did get a couple of stops and the way we shared the ball and found open three-point shooters or guys inside. Uh, I was frustrated with Luke, and yet at the last point, the, the last time he was in there, I thought he really did some good things. Uh, we've seen some of that really good play in practice, and since Kennedy's out, we need another guy to be able to step up. I thought Joel did some good things. Uh, uh, Isaiah did some good things, and uh, we need all three of those guys, Luke and Isaiah and, and Joel, to be able to step up while Kennedy's out. But uh, uh, made some shots, and uh, during the first half, got them to miss a bunch of them, except the half court at the end of the buzzer. How do things change with whether it's Isaiah N versus Joel? Uh, not a lot. I mean, I knew I was going to start Joel because he's a senior. He's deserved it. He's done some good things. And also, I didn't even look, but I probably felt like that Isaiah may even play more minutes even though Joel started. Yeah, he really blasted him 19 to 18. <laughs> but uh, uh, Isaiah does a better job guarding the screen on the ball because he's quicker. Uh, but Joel – was a force in there defensively, uh, clogging the lane up and making a couple of really big time blocks for us too. There were a couple of times tonight where you had Isaiah and Joel out on the court at the same time. Is that something that you've done before? And Isaiah and Joel. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Isaiah, um, yeah, Isaiah Hicks and, and Joel James. Yeah, they've done that a lot. They've done that a lot? Oh yeah, yeah. Do it every day in practice too, so that was not. The only change is we went on two occasions, we went small. One at the very, very end, well, not the last, uh, not the walk-on group, but before that we had uh, uh, Justin and Theo as the three and four, but we did also have them as the three, four early in the game in the first half. We went small, and that, that helped us a little bit because they went small as well. Is this the kind of game where you can try different combinations? You know? Well, first of all, I was trying to make sure we win, but there's no question that you're trying some things and see how it looks out there on the court as opposed to on the court during practice because there's a little more stress and a little more pressure. But I think Luke May is really going to be a good player. You know, you look at his stat line and it's, it's not that impressive. Uh, but I really think that Luke May is going to be a really good player for surprise a lot of people. And he's got to get a little more confident, work a little harder. And uh, I think if he does that, he's got a knack for coming up the basketball on the boards. Bryce seemed to really take the loss at Texas hard and was upset with himself about the foul issues and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. What did you sense from him in recent days about his attitude and how well, I think he was Bryce. I don't think it changed. Uh, kids nowadays, heck, they they take it hard in the locker room and then on the plane they're also joking around and playing games and stuff. And she just like somebody reached in and took out my freaking heart. Uh, but uh, Bryce is Bryce, and you got to understand that. But 25 points and uh, 10 rebounds, I like that. But he's got to play better defensively, and he knows it. But uh, uh, I think for a while there, there tonight he was real – uh, really a man on the backboards. He got several offensive rebounds in a crowd, and uh, uh, we need him to do that. With the foul thing, I mean, how do you feel about helping him limit fouls? Well, I mean, and this, this, guys, you just got to play hard all the time. I mean, Marcus's first foul today was because Bryce wasn't where he's supposed to be. And then Marcus got a second foul in the first half, so what did we have to do the last three minutes of the first half? Had to take Marcus out. So it's uh, – Bryce wants to be it, but he's got to want it more, and he's got to be more active, more effective, and he's getting frustrated with himself, and I like that. I want him to care. I want him to be ticked off. If you don't play well, I want it to hurt you. And uh, so it's, you know, last year he and Isaiah both um, had trouble making too many silly fouls, and in the game the other day at Texas, a couple of Bryce's would go in that category. You can't make silly fouls. Your first foul is a silly one, and all of a sudden you get a second one, and that means you don't play as much. He played uh, – Andrew, you may know, I think he played five minutes in the first half. You know, and if, if he's one of our best players, I'd like for him to play more than five minutes. And he must be one of our best players because I keep running him out there at the starting line. Joel had nine assists, but I just had, had one in the day. How, what, what are you most pleased with in the progress he's made through 10 games? He had a really good preseason. If you go in there right now, he'd tell you he had nine assists and three turnovers because he went brain dead three times. 
And, you know, I want him to be 9-0. Tonight would have been an easy night for him to go 9-0 because his three turnovers were really just – I mean, I've, it got to this level, usually doesn't jump up in the air and come back down with the basketball without passing it, you know, some of that. But Joel had a great preseason for us. Uh, it's been really big for us in a lot of games. And I think he's just going to get better and better and better. And uh, and the good thing, he understands his mistakes and uh, understands what he needs to do. And now he's just got to do it. But uh, I think I even said at the end of the preseason that he had probably, he and Marcus were the two best, had had the two best performances in preseason. He also had four coaches assist against Texas. So it wasn't just the one, it was other passes that led that just weren't officially considered. Yeah. Yeah, that, the stats were a little unusual there, but it was an unusual game. They score with less than a second in the end of half and then scored less than one-tenth of a second in the game. Clock runs out, two seconds forward, we got a two-point win, but it doesn't do that. Put, uh, put Justin Jackson on top of that 1-3-1 one, one trap. Is there an, obviously the length there, but anything else you kind of like to see him looking up there? Well, uh, from up there, he's got to be more effective. What I liked, he had four offensive rebounds tonight. And because I told he and Theo, we've got to get more rebounding from the three spot. We played the trap, uh, I think, four possessions. and. Uh, We've, we haven't practiced it enough, so we've got to get a lot better. But uh, uh, Justin plays there. Theo plays there. Kenny plays there. Kenny may be more effective there than the other two guys, so we've got to keep working at it. Anybody else? With Kennedy out, does that, affect, does that affect you guys more defensively than in any other area? Oh, I think both. You know, it does affect us defensively because it's hard to move him around in there. Uh, but I think it affects us offensively as well because he's, for all the big guys, he's our best passing big man. Uh, you know, tonight, let's see, Bryce was 0-2. Joel was 0-0. Uh, let me find Isaiah. It was 3-0. And we need to have good assist rate ratios. But uh, uh, Kennedy's the best passing big man we have. So he, it uh, hurts not having him on both ends of the floor right now. But bottom line is we don't have him. And so we've got to play with who we have. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. A reminder, tomorrow's scheduled press conference is canceled.